So even though it's clear that uh, being shot from behind is incorrect, I'm gonna press on everything. More content. Yes! Yes! Um. <laughs> why, why aren't you saying anything? Is this some new interrogation technique? I hadn't actually thought of what I wanted to ask. Just ask about anything that catches your attention. Anything that bothers you. All right, then. Um... This beef steak you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Attention! Ag! Beef steak is a delicious cut of veal vigorously cooked on a cast iron grill and served piping hot. Oh. If food could, could receive medals of honor, beef steak would be almost as highly decorated as cutlet. Right, I see. Uh, thank you, sir. So, next question. Dots. This cutlet you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Hinge-hum! Ag! Cutlet is a delicious cut of veal tossed in breadcrumbs and deep fried in cooking oil. Accept your guilty verdict, atone for your crimes, and when you're released from prison, try it. Yes, sir, I will, sir. On the double, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but... How about trying to stick to questions that are relevant to the case? <laughs> Why is he raising... He's being polite. You, you raise your hand and wait until the judge calls on you. Oops, sorry, I'll do my best. So, next question. Is it just me, or do you keep hearing a sort of wah crying noise? Negative! Well, at least we've learned he's a big beef lover. Affirmative. It's not easy knowing what questions to ask. Achievement unlocked, Prime Presser. That's me. Alright, he was talking about a golden curio. Yes. Tell me more about this golden curio. I have no idea what you're talking about. A Koban, boy. A Koban? You mean an old Edo coin? The day prior to the incident, a treasure of exceptional value from the Hoei period entered my possession. I took myself to the restaurant the following day with said item secreted in my bosom pocket in the hope of an affluent cognoscence appraised of its indisputable value being present. So, you were hoping to sell your Koban coin to Sergeant Nosa, whom you met at the restaurant? Yes, yes. It's quite clear where you're going with this, boy. You are about to assert that a penniless soldier would have no hope of purchasing a precious Koban. Isn't that so? Um, well, no. I was just pressing on everything. <laughs> You little upstart cadet! You want to add disrespecting a superior officer to your list of crimes, do you? Blatant insubordination! N no, I didn't say anything. Although, penniless might be just the word I was looking for. In any case, the hour was already advanced beyond that of the midday luncheon. There remained precious few present with whom I could engage in discourse about matters of business. The gentleman aside me who was grappling with his braised veal at the time was my sole prospect. I see. At that precise moment a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Yes! Yes. So... You're saying that you actually saw me at that time? Affirmative! I saw you. Laughing, cackling like a madman as you trained the barrel of your gun on the English civilian. <laughs> the way he looks at it is great. But that's impossible. I, I only... Allow me to confirm just one point, please. What's that, Private? Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me that it must have been just after you heard the gunshot that you looked over at the, to the victim's table. And so what if it was? Well, 
If that really is the case, it would mean that you didn't in fact see the precise moment when the killer actually fired the gun. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Okay, true. Arg. And double arg. Like this. Arg, arg. My sixth sense. Sorry? My, my sixth sense of danger. I picked up the waves of murderous energy radiating from your foul mind. Which means... A split second before you pulled the trigger, I was looking right at you, cadet. Surely that's not really possible, is it? Do you think I'd have got where I am today in the army if I couldn't sense danger in the air, son? Also, I can channel spirits into my body. Well... It would seem this soldier is absolutely convinced that he saw you do the deed. It's not good. Alright, so we'll skip that one. Press on here. He was on his hands and knees. Yes! Yes! On your hands and knees? Could you explain that, please? That's right. Spurning the arthritis I was in order to retrieve the lost piece. What lost piece are you referring to? The Koban, of course. The exquisite Hoi era Koban coin. I had just been showing the rare treasure to the military man as he masticated his meal. After avert- are you okay? <laughs> Averting my eyes for the briefest moments, it was there no more. It simply vanished. The Koban vanished? Hence, I began to acquaint myself with the intricacies of the floor, just like Serpent during P3S. <laughs> in order to locate it, and then it happened. <laughs> you heard the gunshot, you mean? None other than, though it was no concern of mine, I was frantically scouring the floor for the aforementioned lost treasure. So in fact, you didn't actually witness the precise moment when the incident occurred? Indeed, myself, I did not. Fuck. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Listen, Yunosuke. We know there are lies lurking in these statements. It's time to expose them. I understand that. The question is, how? I've never played a Phoenix Wright game before. Like I said before, the key to this is using evidence that you've collected. You can examine and present evidence while a witness is giving testimony by pressing E. Go through each witness statement and the details about each piece of evidence and compare all the facts. Somewhere in there, you'll find something that doesn't add up. In other words, an inconsistency. An inconsistency. When you find a statement and piece of evidence that seem to contradict each other, load a truth bullet into your truth gun and shoot it at them. Just be careful, because if you assert a contradiction that has no basis, you'll be given a penalty. If you're dealt too many penalties, the defense's case will fall apart and will receive a guilty verdict. So that's it. Peruse the evidence in the court record and find an inconsistency with the witness a witness's statement. <clears throat> Alright, I'll give it a try. Sell me! How could you object? My heart can't take such an objection. Welcome. You can hear the witnesses' statements over and over again as many times as you like. So keep your head and be measured in your attack. Good luck, partner. Alright, so the one that we did not press on, statement four, this is the one that has a problem. We'll press it first. Yes! Yes! Um, so this black uniformed university cadet, you're saying that was... Arg! I've had just about enough of your sauce, cadet. Who else do you see around here in black uniform, huh? Well, <laughs> someone's standing right next to me. <laughs> Who fits the description as well, but... <laughs> it was you, you little weasel! You unloaded the firearm on that man! From behind his back, and you call yourself a citizen of the great empire of Nippon? You disgust me. The 
the face of realization dawns upon young Naruhodo. What is it, Ryosuke? I'm... I'm not quite sure. It's something that the sergeant just said, but I can't put my finger on it. Something's playing on my mind. <laughs> In that case, check back over the details of the evidence you've gathered in the court record. If you find an inconsistency there with what the witness just said, then... Don't hold back, because you're back up at the boom and you don't know how to... Don't hold back. Present the evidence to the court. Thrust it in the witness's face and make him choke on it. Murder him with the evidence. Oh. I don't know. Backwards. Beep, 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 beep. I thought I hit the left arrow. From the back, you say. Well, no. It was not actually, do both of these say? That one doesn't say whether it's in the back or not, so it's the other one. Yes! Yes! Teacher! What? What are you playing at, cadet? What's the meaning of this insubordination? Oh, of this subordination? I'm subordinating? I'm not insubordinating. <clears throat> Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache. In in inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes! There's a clear inconsistency here. <laughs> what nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well... Obviously, that, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Hm. I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Arg! This is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Yesenosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? statement you just made was this. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military-grade eyes, sir. Yes. I was even unconscious at the time and had a robot eye, so I, I knew exactly how long I had been unconscious and everything that happened while I was unconscious. But no, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because... 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 <laughs> it's clear that I'm innocent. To, prevent, to present any evidence would be an insult to the court. Take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died to a bullet wound to the chest. <clears throat> ah. Sergeant, according to your witness statement... The culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? <gasps> Here's a baby! <laughs> Ooh, herb, ag, uh, um, well, er, uh, mm hmm. What the. What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it back down again. Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Uh, 
Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. <laughs> Conjoined twin. <laughs> we should say... Oh, that's why the thing that's tied around him is like a baby to carry thing. <laughs> Until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were... Firmly fixed on the delicious car the carnival steak, sir. What? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Yesenosa, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Ugh. That's... that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Gnurk! Kia! Achievement unlocked! There's been a complete Gyakuten Saiban in the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. But, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet there, he was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. Yes! But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> is okay. I just need to say it's slow. Hmm. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either? Myself, I've already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Oh, yes. You were looking for your Koban coin, weren't you? Indeed. The prized Hoyera Koban. Hunting around under the table, I was, in case it may happen, it had fallen there, and then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed, I did, but he did it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded hoy treasure. Nothing could distract me. Out of interest, did you find the coin in the end? No. Hmm, I see. That lamentable day, the precious Hoi Koban was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. <laughs> A compilation? I... I should edit my videos, right? I Instead of just putting raw video, it's like, come on, Heathen, put some work into it. Make make actual videos where it's just a super cut of stuff. Like, right, I've, I've said before that I was going to do that, and instead I fell a year behind on just uploading raw video. <laughs> someday, someday when I have more than 24 free hours in a day, I will find the time to do that. <laughs> As I am sure everyone as I am sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Are there tr are there transcontinental telegraphs? I think you're making that up. I don't think you can send a telegraph to Great Britain. I think you made that up. Nevertheless, the witness testimony of the court is just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels it must be to the British, it would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. <laughs> what is your position, Prosecutor Auchi? <laughs> Worry not, Your Excellency. Uh, the defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. <laughs> It's the year of the tiger. My witnesses have further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. 
the equally despicable defendant, Ryunosuke Naruhodo. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Ugh. Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Awaiting signal to testify, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative. The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name Ido. I do? I, like, yes, sir, no, sir, I do? Is it supposed to be I do, or is it I do? I'm gonna say I do. It would seem those straps are the sign of a servant being too strapped to avoid, afford a nanny. I do. Tension! Your father is about to quell the enemy. <laughs> Watch and learn, my boy. <laughs> okay. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man he was, that young lad in black, that much I myself did see. Furthermore, the visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. All right, so I don't think we have evidence to con uh, contradict any of that. Yes. What? I I have been interrupted. <laughs> what did I miss? These testimonies are certainly compelling. Yes. Wait. That that's nonsense. The victim, Doctor Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. Uh, my lawyer has already advised me to not follow the rules of court. Follow, follow my heart. Don't listen to my parents when they tell me to study. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, Counsel? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. Certainly based. I mean, certainly, based on the appearance of this print. It would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Arg! This doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. A bottle of carbonated water. And a steak lunch. <laughs> it can't be wine? We, we can't even have grapes. They patched the grape juice out. It's now carbonated water. So, I wonder... Is it a different bottle? Is the fork moved? Fork is not moved. Bottle could be the same. Did someone... Take a few bites out of the steak? <laughs> Hang on, I need to count the grill lines. One, two, three, four undisturbed grill lines. One, two, three. <gasps> someone man someone ate this man's steak post-mortem. The steak was already dead, and they ate it anyway. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. She was stuffing her face with steak. <laughs> the waiter said the same thing. 
He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I, I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. Oh, maybe she was a Japanese ninja. It would seem we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all with our magical, non-existent, cr cross-Atlantic and Pacific telegraph technology. The witness test... Yeah, how how freaking far is Japan from... But there's no... tell you, you people. You people and your lies about the wonders of telegraphs. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for doubt. He said telegraph. These are still, or these are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Taketsuchi Auchi, will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. Oh, I forget. That's right. There were two, there were brothers, right? So what was, oh, the other guy's name was, the other guy's name was Payne. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm messing this up. There was there was Winston Payne. And then Spirit of Justice had a different guy with the... S I don't know. I'll have to look it up later. I, I forgot. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Rinosuke. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth and the, your, your sword. Did you bring a sword? All lawyers should carry swords. Didn't you play any of the Phoenix Wright games? <laughs> every warrior need every every lawyer needs to be armed. I, I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick. Understood? I I thought that tele... Like, right? I thought that definitely implied that you were using a wire. Because if you weren't, then it would... Yeah, it would just be radio. Or it would just be something. Electro... Magnetism... EMP grenades? I've got it. I'll throw an EMP grenade into the court. That will solve everything. <laughs> Rules can be so unbending at times. Ugh. <laughs> Sword emote. Alright, it's almost the same thing. Yes! No, no, no. It's not the same thing at all. That's why I said yes. For the start, I didn't fire that gun. We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of a uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling cadet. Um, I don't think so. Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Uh, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. Uh, so there you have it. Damn, this is as good as the Chewbacca defense. <laughs> or, ha have what? Tinch Hun! The sound of the firearm rang in my ears, and the very next moment, I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? Grr. Oh, I, I guess, yeah. Remote, remote right. You're, you're telegraphing me right now! I can't believe, from, from all the way from the distant country of Europe, you are telegraphing me. Incredible. And let us not forget that the antiques dealer witnessed the, the accused in this most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so correct, Tassan? Yes! Yes, it may be true that I was holding a gun at that point in time, 
But I've told you already, that's only because I'd picked it up off the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it away. I just finished drinking my coffee, and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at exactly that moment... Bang! A delicious steak shot its way into my mouth. A gunshot rang in my ears. Full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a f pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated this testing predicament. Whereas, conversely, I failed to pick up the Koban from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. Also, you shouldn't... You shouldn't... You shouldn't just point a, a, a knife sheath at your eye without first confirming that it's not loaded. What if it was a what if it was a gun blade? You don't know. Anyway, the fact remains, myself, I did see you with the pistol in hand standing over the foreigner. Furthermore. Yes! You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. Objection! As you have been at pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Arg. If only there'd been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner at any restaurant. I know. Of course, the place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. It's just what they'd want you to think. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, and why he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Counsel? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. He got a prescription for steak. <laughs> hmm, Hotter Clinic. Yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November. <clears throat> the court, 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm. The very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need. There, there, even now, there still wasn't need to submit it. <laughs> They're like, but how could he have eaten lunch late? It's like, we can prove that he had a reason to eat lunch late. <laughs> Felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder. What do you think, Ryanosuke? Hmm? Well, it is hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card to be submitted as evidence? I have to think carefully about this. Yes! Yes! If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. <laughs> On what grounds? Um... The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are no concern. Objection! Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. Um, there have been some Phoenix Wright games where... Like, for the... Like, they're pretty standard. It's a pretty standard formula the whole way th through. But there are a few cases where you... Like... 
maybe like as you're going through they're like okay you can add this to the testimony or you can add this to the testimony and only one of them work like turns out to be relevant so you're supposed to if you add the wrong one then you need to press again in order to ask the other question and put the other thing in and there are occasionally times where they're like do you have an answer to this question and if you pick no that's the correct answer but if you pick yes then it leads you down a rabbit hole of going okay i'm gonna it was this person with professor plum in the whatever and no matter what combination you pick uh you lose a point but i beg your pardon you have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence very well the court will grant the defense's request Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical record to the court record. Wait a minute, why isn't there a bullet hole in this report if it was in if it was next to his chest? Oh, there's actually no details. Okay. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. Hmm. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you, as, as we say here in Japan. Or perhaps you'd forgotten that those witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Korekutasan. Yes! Uh-oh. I keep running out of space. <laughs> I got plenty of space on D. And I should basically just move all of my stuff over there. Bear with me a sec. I just had a little pop-up warning me that I'm down to my last less than a gig on the on the drive that I'm recording this to. <laughs> I, t I have space on the other drive, it's just I'm not diligent about constantly moving the new files over. <laughs> No, I have plenty of storage. Almost done. I, in fact, have... Um, I actually threw all of my... Old, like, before I deleted them off the computer, threw all of my, like, old, old stuff onto... Uh, um, like a portable drive and it's just hanging out in my closet in case I ever need those files. <clears throat> so you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone. That I did. Forgive me for the position I place you in. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statements as well. As can clearly be seen, there is only a single beefsteak on the victim's table, a meal for one. Oh wait, was there stuff in the cu- is that- Oh, the the cup is empty here. Okay, that's that's more damning than the bite out of out of seven pixels of steak right over here. Steak made out of white gloves. Is it? Yeah, there's there's water in the cup in this. Uh... So hold on, hold on. When were these? When were these two things made? They're both crime scene photographs, so they, I guess, both happened 
after he died. <laughs> Circular bites? It's because he's been playing Loop Hero. So he needs to eat all of his food. Not just breakfast, but all food in circles. No. The antiques dealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm, if I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Yes! Why aren't you telling the truth? What, what did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion? It's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, Defendant Naruhodo, it's not just a, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. B but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, you know, Ske. We've gleaned some new in some new information now. Well, yes. But I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Oh, you mean this? Ah, there's some space dust on it. <sighs> yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? Uh, you'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press space, and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. <laughs> ah, oh, I see. Rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using WASD, like you've never heard of ESDF in your life. Disgraceful. You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. <laughs> oh, just giving it away, huh? If the crosshairs start to pulsate, press space to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learnt by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I need to use up, down, left, right, W, A, S, D, B, A, select, start to inspect any piece of evidence that looks suspicious. Okay, so I can I can rotate it, but the only way to move the crosshair is like this. Okay. And what does it say? Oh, can't zoom in. Okay, very well. Kudu tokiha. Kudu tokiha. Kokoro zu hon something suru koto. Okay. Plus, what's it say down there? John Wilson. Okay. And this says, uh, Rikudo Koshi, the author of Excel Saga. <gasps> what's this on the back? The, the date, the year, and the, the month and the day are left blank. It's because if you change the future, you change the past. Of course. Okay. Medical report card required for every visit. Mr. John Wilson, Hada Clinic. 
It says Hada Clinic on this re medical report card. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Welcome back. You're just in time for me to show off that I read this entire thing in, in Japanese. Didn't get anything wrong. I hate clinics almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. It, it turned magnetic because they put microchips in it and stuff. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would give their right arm to have only had one cold in their whole life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Oh, okay. So if it's not pulse, then you don't get anything. Dentist? What? But it said Kokoro on the front. That means heart. You don't go to a heart dentist. Unless you got something really wrong with your teeth. It looks like this medical report card was first issued quite some time ago. It's probably a record of long-term treatment, that's why. With a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine. Going to a doctor, I mean. As long as I'm alive, I'm never consulting one. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So, so you don't like doctors, then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible-tasting medicine. They give you painful injections. And then they demand lots of money for it, from you for the privilege. All when you're at your lowest ebb, he said. You sound like a model patient. You sound like a, a real Kurtzkaza. A real cranky. He does sound like a real cranky. Oops, I clicked it again. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, don't mind if I just uh, take a peek at your... I mean, <laughs> you're dead. What the hell is privacy anymore? Am I right? Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he'd had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Medical reports information has been updated. All right. With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. <laughs> is, is Eb? I suppose Eb might be a German word. They borrowed it. So let's hang on. We're just examining, we're not presenting. Am I allowed to examine these things now in greater detail with WAS incorrect controls? Or this one? Or this one? Yes, I can flip this one. I do so. This plan of the restaurant raises a number of questions, I think. Definitely. It's supposed to show the relative position of everything in the moments following the incident, but there's nothing to show the woman you say you saw there. Exactly. And that's not all. Look here in the upper left where it says, Kitchen. Hmm? Oh yes. What of it? No one would... <laughs> no one would use those complicated characters to write kitchen. Especially not if they were in a hurry. <laughs> you mean you don't remember those characters yourself, don't you? Study harder. Benkyo shinasai, Dinosuke.
This plane of oh, we already got it. Same thing. It's not Deguch. Oh, no. Is no. What's entrance? Is it high? It's not high Gucci. That doesn't sound right. Eevee. Eevee Gucci. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> you go, of course, of course, that's. <laughs> I wasn't uh, holding it the wrong way around at all. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Satoru Hosonaga. Well, yes, business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's inspected, it's his job title. His job? Oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow here... Yeah, I just busted the case wide open. Freaking forget about this whatever stake question or whatever they're asking. Just go, objection, you you brought a phony in. Alright, so we want something where it says, oh, he was eating a steak. Oh. We have even more to go on now. I still don't feel like the situation's really changed, though. No discrepancies have come to light. And that's what we need. Oh, I think the situation's changed a great deal. We've come a long way. How so? Because we have just what we need. It's simply a case of using it to our advantage now. Then, do you mean there is a discrepancy somewhere? The crucial point is the victim had been prohibited. Oh, he's just telling me. The fact has not yet been brought to the court's attention. He's right. Thinking about Dr. Wilson's circumstances at the time of the incident puts that particular statement in a totally different light. Always keep your eye on the progress of battle. That's the only sure way to win. Always make sure the other team, the other guy's hit points are going down. It's the only way to win. So is it here that I yes. press and he says, oh, he was eating steak? actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone? No. Oh, and okay, so the, the left arrow does not actually work. You need to hit left and right if you want to go back. Otherwise, I'm only going forward. Yes! Because the doctor, if we're going by, by standard Phoenix Wright rules, the actual, like, regardless of... To other circumstances, the text of what they are saying in their testimony has to, like, that has to be what's contradicted by the evidence. Attention! Alright, I guess dining all by himself, I can present. I 
I guess I can present this here. Yes. I guessed wrong. Doda! What about the last statement made by the witness? It seems perfectly reasonable to me. E e exactly, perfectly reasonable in every way. Perhaps you should take a leaf out of the witness's book and learn to be more reasonable yourself. Ugh. Alright, I just need to calm down and think everything through again from the start. So, do I present the medical report card instead? I guess that... Oh, yeah, I guess whether it was a steak or not. Like, if he's at a restaurant, you're not going to come to a restaurant and just order water. <laughs> okay, this... Duh, I'm a little dumb. Yes! I'm just warming up. I did it on purpose. I, er, well, I think, um... What are you wittering? About what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could. First and foremost here, I'm the accused. Yunosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Streamers, you're also allowed to stumble over your words occasionally. You can even pronounce some of them wrong. No one will give you a hard time about it for six years. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that so purposefully, <laughs> you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. <gasps> don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just <laughs> say whatever. Fucking, I don't care. All right. And thanks for the advice. Korekuta-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I see, and I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement? Something clearly doesn't add up. Attention! Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. <coughs> but... Let's see if I can explain it in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Grr, but, but that's, uh, um, remember, you know, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words, just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here, there is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has, has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale-faced pupil who could have possibly perpetrated the... He slammed properly. Did you hear it? This medical report card has nothing to do with the case? Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hada Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. That's... that's called a... Ha... something. Ha is tooth. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted... What's this now? And furthermore... If I told you that as a result the victim had been forbidden from eating... <gasps> just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat? So what? All written up in here. 
No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that... <laughs> that can't... Kurekutasan? What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No! Additionally, there's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we now know, had just had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of anesthetic. Arg! Expertly done, partner. Is that it? I don't know. That looks like Ha, the first thing. It's probably like Ha Bioin. There we go. Got it. Got it in one. That's dentist dental clinic. What? <clears throat> what? What is this nonsense, you, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have krikaisu'd. Also, there's pawns and, and knights and shit on them. Wouldn't you agree, Ryono? Wouldn't you agree, Ryunosuke? Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that, <laughs> that means me, doesn't it? All right. The answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of your Gyakten Saiban. So, show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um, the person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been, it was the two witnesses. <laughs> it, it was me. <laughs> you know, I don't know this question for sure. The two witnesses could have eaten his steak. I am going to say that. I'm going to say it. I bet it was the sergeant and the antiques dealer. No, Sasan and Kurekutasan. Arg! Ag! Are you taking the cake, cadet? You think I'd share rations with this decrepit graybeard? Insult me by associating me with this brutish carnivore, would you? You were both present at the scene. Neither of you can deny that you had the opportunity. Right? You addle-brained idiot! I had my own regulation beefsteak set before me at my own table. And as any soldier worth his salt will tell you, you seize whatever rations are put in front of you. It would seem you may need to reconsider your answer, Council. Of course, Your Excellency. Um... <laughs> True. I mean... It's slightly different under something like this, where it's like, oh, you, you like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't eat because you're under anesthesia, but, you know, because you'll, whatever, bite your tongue off. <gasps> and then there would be a circular piece missing from your tongue. Of course. That was a third party. Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such yes. person. Yes! There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. 
yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was someone, somebody else there eating it. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. Plus the other one also is because he's a cop. I have the paperwork right here. Like, come on. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, I will attack you with a with a lethal weapon. I'll just do it. <laughs> we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma, are you insane? You you would take on the government? Don't worry, Counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them, the two witnesses in the stand. What? what are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be de de well. That's that's a much <laughs> that's a much stronger uh, reaction to perjury than any of the other Phoenix Wright games had, <laughs> where they just said, ah, you know, sometimes sometimes you gotta blatantly lie in court. Sometimes you gotta just say the opposite of what happened. You know, people people are allowed a goof or seven before they get to, around to the real truth. Like, no, uh, you are guilty of murder if you lie. <laughs> Complicit in murder? <laughs> no! <laughs> ne negative. There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right. The man says, just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they uh, told us. Oh. What? What did you just say, Korekutsan? Oh, um, no. You were just following orders? No, hold on, lad. I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman? Grr! When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? Objection! Wh what is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, Futari Tomo? Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. <laughs> I I saw I saw that on Reddit. I didn't click on it and see the details, but man, <laughs> it was it was they were playing Pokemon Go like instead of investigate like re instead of responding to like a call right that there was a what I don't know murder or something whatever they do to each other in L.A. Order order, Council, explain what is going on here. It's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um... That's classified. Kinsoku Chikotes. So you're prepared to be tried as a, conspiracy, a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... You wouldn't. This can't be happening. Rinosuke. Judging by the way they're acting to this, reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or, or the police, I suppose. Well... Any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, get it? It's the name of the song. 
So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouth shut. Of course. We'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. <laughs> Excuse me. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made our progress before? Before? Sonomaini? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. This guy... This guy is given tutorials because he doesn't know who's playing. He doesn't know that he ten already turned the business card around. He doesn't know that he ten knew that the business card was the key to all of this the moment that it reached my hand. <laughs> it was dot dot dots the baby. Yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you a penalty will be severe. Just to check. It was police, right? He's a police, police inspector. Please, wait. Your Excellency, I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god, I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Hmm? Uh, well, Your Excellency, uh, no time to think. I'm just going to attack head on! Defeat him with the power of guessing. Besides the prosecution, the, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... Yes! Yes! Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san? The waiter who took the stand earlier? Attention! Poppycock! I guess. <laughs> what possible reason would the waiter have to, to make the, these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not have possibly had that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If, that is, the man truly were a waiter. Well, if he truly were... Come on, Ryanosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Satoru Hosonaga's real identity, as proven by this evidence. Yes! Yes! What word? I missed it. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question? Mm, I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency, that's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of interest. Oh. <laughs> the, the origin of poppycock. I mean, like a, like a type of rooster? Is there a particular breed of rooster known for its ridiculousness? I beg your pardon? Or, or perhaps I should have said the front? Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the telling detail is. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosonaga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the, on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession? But that's surely... Good... Good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? Th the waiter is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses there in the stand... <laughs> was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? This, this gaijin on Er, um, well... No, you're not supposed to say gaijin, you say gai... gai kokujin? Sure. 
hold it. You're not allowed to say that. You have to say yes. That's the rules. Inspector Hosonaga. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will take this plan and add it to the court. Don't, don't, don't flash back like I didn't catch it. Like I didn't catch every drop of sweat beating on his cheeks. I always knew. I have a photographic memory. Yes, I remembered before. I remembered before. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say you really are a detective? A brand of candied popcorn? Oh, no, okay. Without looking it up, I would assume it comes from opium-induced hallucinations. It's nothing of the sort. It comes from the Dutch papikak, meaning soft dung. <laughs> <laughs> but why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course. You're a Westaboo. You love everything that has to do with the West, so that's why you took on a part-time job as a waiter in a resta Western restaurant. Just because. Ah, of course. Your salary must be terrible. I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes. There have been a series of incidents at the restaurant lately. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working undercover. <laughs> you still prefer that it's a rooster high on opium. I see. It can be our thing. Incidents at the restaurant. What kind of incidents? That would be Kintsokuchi Kodes. Keikaku. Of which I am not at liberty to divulge. You know, ke Keisatsu is police. But you can say Keikaku. People will understand what you mean. However, I can categor state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Hosonaga. But you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. Dots. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <coughs> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable! Hmm, as I suspected. Bang! As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an Englishwoman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the Bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say... Remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this English woman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. Except yours. Obviously. <laughs> the Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. 
An Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect? Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of this phantom woman in this case. This Obakeona. But it's not right! One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain, and I'm fairly certain that one of them, studying in the Medical Facilities Research Laboratory, is a young Englishwoman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. <gasps> you mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The Englishwoman sitting at the university's... At the university professor's table was a certain Miss... Giselle... Giselle? Giselle? Giselle Brett? Giselle Brett. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research facility... Research laboratory of Yume University's medical faculty. What? What is happening here? I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence from the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. <laughs> Don't pursue your innocence. I highly discourage it. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. <sighs> However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. <sighs> but, but, your excellency, that would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by our such by such actions. Calm yourself, Council. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. Ugh! Inspector Hosonaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with utmost urgency. Kashikomarimashita. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So, it won't be a problem? <coughs> Nothing will get in my way. Not, not even, like, super dying from COVID, like he is. <laughs> Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student Giselle Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your Excellency, Dogeza. Good, then we will have a 30-minute recess before reconvening. <laughs> he ate so much that he's just oozing steak juice from his mouth. Clearly. It's not blood. Steak has steak juice in it. Chicka chunk. Oh, let's see. Auto save. Okay. We'll save here, and this is a fine time to quit. All right. So, uh, we're having fun. Definitely. Good old, good old Phoenix Wright again. Um. Everything so far is really fun. I like it. 
uh, I have a better first impression of it than I did of, I think, Dual Destinies or Spirit of Justice. Um, or, well, Leighton was a special case. <laughs> Leighton is a very special case and a very special game. <laughs> um, so we'll... I, I think the plan was that... I had said Thursday I was going to go back to Loop Hero. I'm gonna need more time. I haven't I haven't opened it up even once. I'll I'll probably play this again on Thursday and we'll wait till Saturday to go back to Loop Hero and try to finish it. How's that sound? Sounds good. Can I just exit now? I'm sure I can. <laughs> Uh, I exit. There we go. All right. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, we'll be back with more of this on Thursday. I hope everyone has a great night. I will see you next time.